as I recall, it was during a writer's strike, so he had lots of time to do it. And we told uh, Steve, Steve Kolzak, our casting person, we want to see everybody. And I think we did. We read these same sides. You, you know, you have every actor has to read the same lines, and we re heard those so many times that we finally had to write them out of the script. We just couldn't stand to hear them again. It was very long and arduous, and I think um, pro probably as thorough a job as anybody's ever done for a television show. We had the luxury of that time to do it. Um, saw a lot of good people for every role. Some, some, some we had right away, and we wanted Rhea right away. We knew we'd work with George on Taxi. We knew we wanted George, so those were slam dunks, and John fell into our lap. But uh, in terms of the leads uh, for Sam and Diane, uh, who were you considering, and why did they end up uh, getting the role? Believe it or not, one of the people that we had considered early on for the part of Sam was Bill Cosby. At that time, he didn't have a series. I was interested in doing television. Who approached uh, you about that? The network. I believe it was the network. Would have sure been a different, different show. But right. one of, what we did, we did have one of the things we um, established as a principle when we were casting is let's go with unknowns. Uh, that would have been the Bill Cosby show, and we didn't want that. Somebody once told us uh, never have an actor's name. <laughs> title of your show, because then you can't fire them. Uh, so uh, that was never going to be a danger anyway, but still, in fact, it would have been the Bill Cosby show, and it, and it just didn't, uh, didn't feel right. Was it a Cosby tough sell to go with unknowns for the lead? The mm -mm. No. No. Um, no, I don't remember us ever even having a battle about it. No. This is another case where Grant was supporting us. This is what we wanted to do. He was now, funny. which one of the two is cast first, uh, Ted Danson or Shelley Moore? Shelley. Well, actually, officially, it happened at the same time. Right, but we knew we knew we wanted Shelley. She wouldn't. Uh, we kept hearing from independent sources, "You got to see this uh, new lady in town, Shelley Long. She's perfect for your for your show." And we got in contact with her, and she didn't want to read. Uh, she said, "Make make an offer," and we we really didn't feel comfortable with that. So finally, uh, we had a meeting, and uh, I don't know how we got her to read, but she did, and she was, it was that, that, that was it. Uh, we knew that we wanted her. Part of Sam was a bit more troublesome because uh, Ted is um, a, very much a character actor. He has leading man looks, but he's a character actor, and he only feels comfortable when he's, I think, wrapped up in a character. He, he just finished Body Heat, and our agent, so go look at this movie, Body Heat. There's a guy in it I think might work. We looked at him. I don't know if you remember the movie, but he plays a, a dancing uh, district attorney in that. And we said, I don't, this doesn't work. And, uh, anyway, he we wasn't made, a jock. Yeah, we didn't say jock at all. And um, so we, uh, we had him in to read, and, and that worked too. Yeah. When you, you had him read, read with Charlie Long? Or? Eventually we had them read together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and what did you notice about them together? Oh, definite chemistry. Yeah. yeah, they would sort of they would play off of each other. One one would do do something a little unexpected, and the other one would respond to that. And they they just enjoyed playing with each other, having fun together. So it was fun to watch the fun to watch that. Um, we actually went, weren't sure up until we had a, a big casting session for the network, where we had three different sets of Sam and Diane for them to look at. And we weren't precisely sure going into that who we wanted. We were, as Glenn said, reasonably sure that Shelley was the choice, but for the, for the actor we were thinking at that time maybe William Devane, who was one of the finalists. But as it turned out, when, when Ted and Shelley got standing at the bar with a little bit of an audience of network executives watching, and it just really took off, and we, the three of us huddled and said, there's no choice here. 